So I'm going to show you how to do a um, chi-square goodness of fit test using your Texas Instruments calculator. Now I have a list of data here um, from Collaborative Statistics uh, Volume Edition 2. Um, it's number of televisions uh, distribution. Here's the percentage that they come up with um, and the observed values that they have you know, in the book. And so what we had to do is we had to calculate the expected values which are here um, and then do our table. So this is the answer that they get that we're going to then test for our chi-squared. So using your calculator, if you go to the list, you can put in the first row of numbers because that was given to you. The second row of numbers here is actually calculated uh, just by doing math. All right, we have um, 0.10 times uh, 600 and 0.16 times 600 and so on, um, and it gives you the values. Now, to calculate the third row, this column here, I'm going to do this whole column all as one piece because it's just easier. I only have, I can show three, so I'm going to just do that as one thing. Well, if we go up to the top name value, we can actually put in math equations. So this is really going to be parentheses list one minus list two, close my parentheses, squared, because I'm squaring it, all divided by list two. And if I hit enter, it fills in my data. And notice that these numbers are similar to those numbers, except that these are not in, these are two decimal places. So now, to get my sum, if I quit this, here I'll clear, um, I go to uh, list, which is second list, and I go over to math, and I sum this, and I want list three and hit enter and I get 29.646 which rounds to this value. So this is how we get to this we get this number. Now here from here I can take this and put this into a chi-square and um, find my values. So I'm going to go to um, distribution which is second vars and I'm going to go down to chi-square CDF Okay, I'm going to take this answer here, and I can go um, from that answer, so second answer, comma, and now I'm going to go all the way up to infinity, so 1 e, e to the 99th power, and comma, and now because this is um, chi-squared, we have to figure out how many degrees of freedom we have. Well, we have one, two, three, four, we have five cells, so five minus one is four, so we get four, and hit parentheses, and enter, and notice we get, this is our answer, which is, you know, we have to move the decimal point over six places, so it's a very, very, very small p-value, which we would then compare to alpha. And this is how we do, um, this with using our calculator. This is how we would calculate the um, value and then we could just go in and use chi-square and Excel to do it. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.